welcome to another French adventure. Check this out, we are at one of my most favorite French lakes. We are at Sky Lakes, about three and a half hours down from Calais. And if you remember, this time last year, we had a 48 hours on here. Um, go and have a look at that video, real good video. We've got some nice fish to 50 pounds, so we're back. Same time again, beginning of December, freezing cold. The lake's sort of closed, uh, although there are a couple of anglers on here, a couple of French guys uh, fishing it as well this time of year. And Andy and Rob have kindly let me have another little session. I'm going to be here for 48 hours, maybe 72 hours, maybe two, three nights, definitely two nights. And I'm really looking forward to it. We've um, unloaded most of the kit. The van's only there, up there, so uh, it's not far. And what a lovely lake. Some banging fish in here, up to 80 pound there is. Some absolute bangers in here. Uh, angling lines run it normally. It's an angling lines water. And also you can book through Andy and Rob from Sky Lakes as well. Uh, different, that, angling lines run some of it and, and Sky Lakes themselves run the, the other weeks that you can get. Uh, this food package is available. Good food, his lovely wife. Bernie cooks up a mean dinner. You can get bait here, you can get particles. You get, I mean, it's just it's just a real nice setup. Big fish, three hours, three and a half hours from Calais. I'm looking forward to it. We've got two, maybe three nights, we'll see. And hopefully we'll catch some more like we did last time. We caught a lovely 50 pounder. What a blinding fish that was. Lovely fish, I'll worry of that one. But there's loads more 50s in there. Probably talking to Andy earlier on, probably, what? 20 to 25 50s in here which is a lot of 50s isn't it Some 70s 60s um yeah just just a nice head of about five or six hundred fish in about what is it 10 acres i think something like that goes depths down to 20 25 foot i think uh, no real features on it and you probably remember it from the calder videos years and years ago so i've got most of the kit down i'm gonna get all set up because i've got a sunday dinner it is sunday i've got a sunday dinner uh, to look forward to in about three hours time. It's one o'clock now, about four o'clock. I'm gonna go to dinner, so I'm gonna get all the rods done, all ready and all that, it's only there. So I can actually leave the rods out, which would be good. Right, I'm gonna get going, I'm gonna get sorted, gonna get them out, tie some rigs up, get everything sorted, and then, um, yeah, I'll come back to you, see you in a little while. We're rushing around a little bit, trying to get the rods out before dark, and before we have something to eat. I've got two of the rods out so far, down there. Two of them have gone out nice. I've got, oh, I've got a new boat to show you as well. Got a new Tulsa next boat that we're borrowing from Total Fishing for this trip. But let's have a quick look at the rig. Again, it's no leaders here, so it's straight through. Four ounce lead. My typical French fishing rig, which is my leadless hook link using a double 18 miller there. Double 18 mil um, of the Pro Stim liver. Double 18 miller there. Actually, one's a hard hook bait, one straight out of the bag 18 miller. Couple of bits of foam, just to, when it's in the boat, it's not gonna put, I put that around the hook so it doesn't catch on any of the free bits that I'm putting out. I'm gonna talk about everything tomorrow. I just wanna get this last rod out before it gets dark, get everything sorted tidy all that up but um, yeah I'm, I'm against it a little bit at the moment so uh, we're gonna I'll go through everything tomorrow but for the moment I just want to get the rods out I, I'm now come back till I get the last rod out I'll come back to you I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing see you in a minute we are sorted all the rods are out they're all out here we go there they are they are out all done. Use the boat, and I'm using, as I said, double bottom baits. Or oh, one's a one's a hard hooker, and the other one's a bottom bait. So they're both the same flavour on all all the rods. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. We are at 21 wraps. I'm from. Then you see the two big trees. See the two big trees there. I'm sort of two rods to the left and two rods to the right. So we're, we're either side of that, those two big trees on the, on the horizon. So if I catch one, I know exactly where I'm going. 
Looking good. Bloody freezing though. I think we've got a bit of rain tomorrow. Pressure's dropping. This is, I'm fishing about 18 foot, between 17 and 20 foot it is out there. I um, mean, it's sort of semi, it's sort of silt, but it's hard little patches here and there. A couple of when I put the, followed it down, boom, I had a little, little bit of a donk. Not a lot though, because it's silt out there. Put a few scoops of bait in there, and um, yeah, we're ready to go. That's, I'm not going to go into too much detail tonight. Just want to get them out. I've been up since I was three this morning. It's dark o'clock almost now. Uh, looking pretty bitter out there. Still looking good though. First night, you're always buzzing, aren't you? Got to tidy this lot up and sort the van out as well. And have something to eat. Um, right, yeah, if I don't see in the middle of the night, guys, I'll see in the morning, then we will go through absolutely everything. Hopefully, I'll have one to show you in the middle of the night. But if not, I'm going to go through the rigs, the bait, what I'm putting out there, the areas I'm, I'm fishing to. I don't see in the middle of the night, which I'm hoping I will do. I'll see you in the morning and we'll go through absolutely everything. See you soon.